Okay, guys. So right now, our character is ready to be exported to whatever medium that we want, be it Adobe Premiere or just ready to be posted on YouTube. Okay, so let's see how we are going to do this. Okay, now there are several ways of doing this. Let us go into our file pull down menu here and we are going to export now if you notice here we have export your video via adobe media encoder all right and export video with alpha via adobe media encoder and export your png sequence or export the dynamic link your frame as a particular frame or if you want to export your puppet or your live options Okay, so what we're going to do right now is to export via your Adobe Media Encoder. Okay, by doing so, you will see that we have our scene here, George Body, and the type is your MP4, H.264. All right, so let's choose where we want our file to go. I am going to put it in my videos, and I am going to put it in exports, and I'm going to keep that scene name george body all right so let's just save that and it is going to export all right so all right so media encoder has opened it is opening right now and all we have to do is click on our play button right here so that it can do its business all right and here you go so if i were to open it is done because we're seeing this check here so if i were to open my videos and my exports my character will be right here hello guys my name is 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 okay so what really happened here I wonder what happened. Hmm. We had a problem because our video got, got cut off. All right. In the middle. In fact, in the first three or four seconds. Why is this so? This happened because this area here is the only area highlighted. To extend on this, all we need to do is to. All right, make sure we are seeing these two arrows here and we extend this section here to the end of our clip. So let's just bring it to way to the end right here. So if we were to record to um, export again, okay, export via media encoder. All right, so I'm going to put this as version 2. All right, and our encoder is right there. It will open up. All right, and then we are going to click on our play again. All right. And version two. Hello, guys. My name is George, and I'm a character created by your professor, tutor Ted Sandiford. It's indeed a pleasure to help you learn character animator. Good luck. Okay. So notice, guys, that we have our character and the background is black. The background is black because, guys, we have no background right here. Okay, so you'll get a black background. Now, if we want our background to be transparent, if we were to export our character, we need to do that with, we export the video with alpha via media encoder. Okay, so if you were to export this, And I'm going to call, it's a, it's a quick time movie. It's going to be doing it right now. So if you're going to export it, I'm just going to say alpha. I'm just going to type in alpha to differentiate that. And I am going to export right now. Okay. So hopefully this has the alpha channel right there. So let's just see if it actually is actually working. All right, it actually has the alpha channel. Let's just open Adobe Premiere right now. Okay, guys, so right now we are in Adobe Premiere. 
Okay, so I've already put a background in there, a background I, de I designed some time ago. Okay, so right now what I'm going to do, I am going to drag the character that I exported from character animator in there. I'm going to just drag him on the timeline here. Okay. All right, so right now we see our character floating in the air. The sound is already there as well. Okay, let's just see if it works properly. Hello guys, my name is George and I'm a character created by a professor. Okay, so guys, if you notice that the background disappeared, compared to what's going on on the timeline here, all we have to do is extend it. And also, we need to drag our character a little lower. So we're going to our motion settings here and we're going to bring him down so that he can touch the ground here. And I'm just going to have him somewhere on, along the steps right here. Okay. All right. So let's see this. Hello, guys. My name is George, and I'm a character created by your professor, tutor Ted Sandiford. It's indeed a pleasure to help you learn character animator. Good luck. Okay. So we are satisfied with what's going on here. So what we're going to do afterwards, we're going to use our Adobe Premiere to export. Now, this can also be done in character animator itself but how do we do this in character animator all right i also have i also placed the background in here as well all right so how did i do this let me just delete that so that you can see okay i dragged in the background here when i dragged in the background here it a puppet was created background city so what i do I actually drag it onto the timeline. Okay? So if you notice that we have a blue line showing up where as to where it's going to be, so I'm going to have it below our friend here. Now if you notice the background is very large here. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize it. I'm going to go into our transform in our properties tool right here and I'm going to scale it down. Right now it's on a, on 100% I'm going to scale it down to, let me see, to 51%. And our friend here, mm, he's on the ground, but we can put him a little lower. So make sure we have George's body highlighted and we are going to transform him to the y-axis. Come in, come on a little lower, George. All right. So what we're going to do, let's see what happens. Hello guys, my name is George, and I'm a character created by your professor, tutor Ted Sandiford. Okay, wonderful. So what we're going to do now, we can export it. Alright, and then we're going to get this same sequence that we have here as well. Okay, just as we are doing in Adobe Premiere. So, there is another way of doing it. We can also use the PNG sequence. So let's export this. And we're going to choose this option. PNG sequence and weave. So what happens here is that we are going to export scene George body. And then we, let's just say we're going to call it sequence. So what will happen is that let me correct my spelling right here. What will happen is that a folder will be created with each frame of that animation plus the audio. Let's do that. So once you hit on save, okay, this window will pop up with the progress bar and your, anima your animation will play frame by frame, okay, as it encodes, all right? This is a very short animation, so you can actually see that it is moving quickly. We're at 72% right now. All right. So with this said, uh, it will automatically open. That folder will automatically open, and here it is right there. Let me drag it up. So you will actually see that there are, mm -mm -mm, in that whole animation, there are 335 frames. So we have all 335 frames with, um the audio now we can also bring this in adobe premiere as well if we if we want if we choose to all right so by doing so how do you import a png sequence in adobe premiere 
you go into file you go in you go into import all right um my folder is in videos i think um, videos and then it's in exports and the sequence right here what we do is click on the first image in the sequence and right away you'll see that image sequence this is checked so then you open and as it opens we actually see this appears on our line here all right but the thing about it is it has no sound because it's a png sequence all right now our video was recorded at 24 frames a second so what we have to do basically is to modify this by right clicking on our on our panel here and we're going to modify it interpret our footage right now it's at 30. we want to assume this frame rate as 24. and then let's drag it onto our timeline there is okay no audio here and i actually exported at 720 this is not 1080 i exported it at 720. okay so we needed to probably scale this up a bit which i don't recommend but for this tutorial purpose purpose i will all right and then all we have to do is add in our audio which was placed in our sequence in our sequence folder where is it where is it where is it okay here's the audio right here we just drag our audio on there and it matches it right here so let's see. hello guys my name is george and i'm a character created by your professor tutor ted sandiford it's indeed a pleasure to help you learn character animator good luck okay guys so we have seen several ways of exporting your video in character animator our character here is a simple character there are so many things you can do to um to make your character more interesting you can change the hair you can do so many things in character animator as well all right so i am going to add in some more tutorials on there but i do hope that you enjoy these basic tutorials on character animator good luck and keep on practicing Hello guys, my name is George, and I'm a character created by your professor, tutor Ted Sandiford. It's indeed a pleasure to help you learn character animator. Good luck!